Hey there, this is Sarah Bailey coming to you from a resort in Lake Tahoe. It is totally amazing here. If you've never been to Lake Tahoe before, you've got to get here. But today I want to talk to you about how to make a powerful connection with your prospect for your home business. Now this is for people who you're talking to who are, are either leads, people you meet out and about or at networking events. These are people you, you don't know that well. Maybe you pick up business cards from a local deli or coffee shop or somewhere you picked up somebody's business card and you want to have a conversation with them and see if they might be a good fit for your business. Now it's not just seeing if the business is good for them, it's also seeing if they are a good fit for what you are looking for. Remember, you're looking for the most qualified people to join your team. Now, the first conversation you have with somebody about the business is going to be an interview. You're getting to know them and you're qualifying them. And 90% of whether somebody joins you in your business happens on that first phone call. It's not necessarily when they're looking at your company presentation or in your follow-up call, but it's really about the connection that they make with you on that first call. Remember that people like to do business with those they know and like and trust. And you've got to find a way to build up that trust and get them to know you and like you in about five to seven minutes. So how do you do that? Now most people are going to ask some questions like, so what do you do for a living? How long have you been doing it? What's got you looking for something else to do from home? And just basic questions like that. But the best networkers are those who are going to ask deeper questions and who really look for a genuine connection with people. All right, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to ask questions that are going to probe a little bit deeper than what the average person does or what the average networker does. And on my blog post, I have a list of 13 different questions that you can ask people with 13 different tips. And this will all be good at helping you connect with those prospects. So you're going to ask them something like, so tell me a little bit more. What do you do for a living? Explain that a little bit deeper. And, and I want you, the networker, the prospector, to ask them a little bit more questions about what it is they exactly do for a living. And if they've only been doing it for a year or two, ask them, okay, so what else did you do before that? And what else did you do before that? Maybe they've had a series of different jobs. And if they're jobs that are all like completely not connected, just ask them. Be really curious about them. Pretend you're like at a cocktail party or you're somewhere you're just getting to know somebody, a brand new friend, somebody you really like. What kind of questions would you ask them to get to know them? So you could say to them, oh my gosh, you've had five completely different jobs. How did you go from one job to the next? And they're going to go in and they're going to explain more about that, okay? Then you're going to ask them, what is it that has you looking to start a business from home? Or why are you open even at this time to looking for something new? This is going to get at their why for being in network marketing or direct sales and why they would want to join your team. So you're going to find out more about their why. You can ask them, so what kind of a monthly income are you looking to generate from a home business? And are you looking for something part-time or full-time? You know, get a little bit more details from them. Find out a specific dollar amount. Those people who are clear on how much money they want to earn are your best prospects. The people who have no idea how much money they want to <laughs> no idea how much money they want to make, well, they're probably not a great can candidate for you, quite honestly. Now, when they tell you the number, how much money they're looking to earn, ask them, okay, so let's say they say 2,000 a month. Say, okay, so what is 2,000 a month gonna do for you? And how serious are you about starting for some something from home? When they tell you, oh, it's gonna help me pay uh, for groceries or the rent or mortgage or whatever and the whole list of things you can ask them well how serious are you or how important is it to you that you're able to do those things and they're going to tell you how serious they are okay that's another indication of whether or not they're qualified to work with you so then when it gets time to send them to the video you're going to say or video or company presentation in person however you do it say okay I'm going to show you a little bit more about how our company works and as you watch this video or as you watch the presentation or listen into it, you're going to hear clues about how you can exactly make that $2,000 a month you said you wanted to make. And right after you see the presentation, I'm going to follow up with you, I'll give you a phone call and see what questions you have and, and how we might be able to work together if it's a good fit. Now, it may or may not be a good fit for you and either way, it's no big deal. If it is, great. If not, that's okay. We're looking for the best, most qualified people to join us on our team. So. There you go. Hopefully that helps you out. You want to make a powerful connection with people and to do that, you are going to ask genuinely curious, detective-like questions. Get to really know the prospect. Show an interest in them. And the last thing I want to point out is like, think about this prospect and as you're asking them questions, 
think about would I really want to have this person over to dinner with me and my family okay some of the prospects out there are a little bit loony they're a little bit crazy and I certainly wouldn't want them sitting at my dinner table with my kids so think about that as your future business partners would you want to sit down with them at the dinner table with your family and have them join you and that will help you qualify the best people for you for your business I hope this information has been helpful hope you have a fantastic day Here's to your success.